Are you having adhesion issues with your Bamboo Lab 3D printer? Does glue and other adhesives not seem to fix the problem? Well then, this new super tack cool plate from Bamboo Lab might just be the solution that you're looking for. Let's talk about it. Alrighty, so recently Bamboo Lab released a new build plate to add to their now total of five build plates available for their 3D printers, which boasts excellent adhesion and reduced warping, allowing you to print both PLA and PETG at low build plate temperatures and on insane angles, such as this promo image they have here. Today, we're gonna to be testing this plate out by printing various models ranging from small to large in size, as well as a file in the promo to see how well this build plate performs and if it's worth the purchase. Let's get printing. Okay, so I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the results. I have not had one failed print due to adhesion issues and even small intricate parts such as this articulated reindeer by Cinderwing 3D and this snowflake by Hockey Dad on Make World have stuck down incredibly well. The main reason I purchased this plate is that from time to time, I had some seriously bad adhesion issues with the cool plate that came with my X1 Carbon. I initially purchased a PEI texture plate which sorted this issue, however, I did miss the smooth surface that the cool plate provided to the bottom of my prints. This super tack plate is honestly a massive upgrade from the old cool plate, and in my opinion, a must have for any Bamboo Lab 3D printer owner. The only thing that may bother some people is that the print sticks so well that you require the use of the bamboo scraper to remove the prints from the bed. Another thing to note is that this build plate is only compatible with PLA and PETG, so if you're looking to print TPU, ABS, or any other filament type, then this bed is not a suitable choice. Bamboo Lab have also mentioned that at this stage, the Bamboo Lab PLA Silk, the original one, not the new PLA Silk Plus, uh, is not compatible with this plate as it sticks too well and damages printed models on removal from the plate. If you're using third-party Silk PLA, then it is recommended to use 
generic PLA Silk presets in Bamboo Studio, test it with a small file and adjust the profile accordingly. Uh, in my experience, I have some, I think it's Isun Mate, Isun Mate, I butchered the name. I need to reach out and find out how to pronounce it properly because it's bugging me. Uh, but I have some tri silk and so forth filament from them that I used in this video. Uh, I just used the general PLA silk and then I bumped the build plate temp up just five degrees and that seemed to stick perfectly and was pretty easy to remove. That's all for this video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on uh, this new build plate and whether you will be picking one up yourself. And as always, happy printing.